Magandang araw mga classmate. Ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang pagpapatuloy ng lesson natin about polynomial equations. So specifically, sa araling ito, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang tinatawag na remainder theorem at factor theorem. So ano ba ang remainder theorem? So remainder theorem states that If the polynomial P of X is divided by X minus C, the remainder R is a constant and is equal to P of C. To find the remainder when P of X is divided by X minus C, so meron tayong dalawang paraan. So una ay ang paggamit ng synthetic division. And then the other one is to calculate P of R. So, paano ginagawa ang pag-calculate ng P of R? So, in this case, we will just simply evaluate or evaluate the given polynomial equation. So, evaluate natin siya gamit ang value ng X or replace the value of X kung ano yung ating uh, C. Okay. Subukan natin sa example dito. So, let's say we have uh, the problem goes uh, or as to uh, determine uh, the remainder when p of x is equal to x to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 17x squared plus 2x minus 7 is divided by x minus 3. So, ang tinatanong sa atin dito, classmate, ay ano yung remainder? So, katulad nung sinabi ko kanina, so meron tayong dalawang paraan. So, yung una, ay yung paggamit ng synthetic division. So, yung synthetic division, uh, based dun sa nakaraan nating lesson, ay isang paraan ng pag-divide ng polynomials. So, para sa araling yon, so I will uh, put the uh, link in the description box para uh, masunda natin kung paano ba ginagawa yung synthetic division. Okay, so ang una natin ginagawa is to set up the... Uh, Equation. So, we have x minus 3, so equate to 0 to find the value of x. So, in this case, when we apply the uh, addition property of equality, so x becomes 0. So, yung, uh, or x uh, becomes positive 3. So, yung 3 ang gagamitin nating divisor. And then, uh, we have to list down all the numerical coefficient of our p of x. So, we have 1, positive 3, negative 17, 2, and negative 7. So, paki-check mabuti, classmate, at tingnan mabuti yung ating P of X kung siya ba ay nakasulat in standard form at kung walang missing uh, na term. So, in, uh, in this case, uh, kompleto yung ating numerical coefficient. Okay, so proceed na tayo sa synthetic, uh, synthetic division. So bring down the first term, then multiply to the divisor, so the answer is 3, and then add. So we have, again to repeat the process, 6 times 3 is 18, and then add, negative 17 plus 18 is positive 1. 1 times 3, and then add, so we have positive 5. And then 5 times 3, we have 15. Negative 7 plus 15, we have 8. So, just like what uh, we mentioned last time, so yung huling entry sa third row, so ito yung ating remainder. So, ibig sabihin, uh, in this case, nasagot na natin yung question. The remainder when P of X divided by X minus 3 is equal to 8. Or simply R is equal to 8. Okay. So, yan yung isang paraan gamit yung synthetic division. So, another way to determine the uh, remainder is to evaluate P of X. So, katulad nung unang ginawa natin sa synthetic division, first we have to set up our divisor as X minus 3 equals to 0. And then, Applying addition property of equality, so we have x equals to positive 3. So, itong value ng uh, x, 
So, yun yung gagamitin natin na pang-evaluate ng polynomial equation. So, lahat ng x dito sa ating given, so papalitan lang natin ng positive 3. Okay, so we'll have p of 3 equals 3 raised to the fourth power plus 3 times uh, 3 raised to the third power minus 17 times 3 raised to the second power plus 2 times 2 minus 7. Okay, so this is uh, 3. And then, simplify lang natin. So, we have 3 raised to 4. So, this is equal to 81. So, we have 3 times 3 cubed. 3 cubed is uh, 27 times 3. So, this is again uh, equal to 81. And then, 3 raised to 2 is 9. And then, 9 times 17 is 153. 2 times 3, we have 6 minus 7. Okay. So, kung mapapansin classmate, we have uh, common terms na pwede nating i-combine. So, tip lang pagka ganito yung gagawin natin. So, instead na i-add natin yung 81, then i-subtract sa 153, uh, 153 mag-add ng 6, mag-minus ng 7, so, pwede nating pagsamasamahin yung mga terms na may magkakaparehas na sign. So, in this case, we have 81 plus 81. So, that is equivalent to 162. Plus 6 is 168. So, yun yung uh, lahat ng positive. And then, pagsamasamahin natin lahat ng negative. So, we have 153 and negative 7. So, when we combine negative 153 and negative 7, so that is equivalent to negative 160. And then, let us simplify. 168 minus 160 is equal to 8. So, meaning, ang remainder natin when we evaluate the uh, polynomial using uh, 3, as the value of x is equal to positive 8. So, parehas lang nang nakuha natin dun sa ginamitan natin ng synthetic division. Okay. So, bakit kailangan uh, gamitan ng remainder theorem kung pwede naman palang gamitan lang ng synthetic division? So, there are some cases na may advantage ang paggamit ng uh, remainder theorem. So, like... Uh, Itong ating example dito. So, let's say we have P of X equal to X raised to 23 minus 5 divided by X minus 1. So, ano raw uli ang ating remainder? So, kung gagamitan natin ito ng uh, synthetic division, so we all know that uh, the value of Rx is equal to positive 1. And then, when we set up the uh, synthetic division, so, iisa-isahin natin, classmate, yung mga numerical, uh, numerical coefficient ng ating polynomials. So, mag-umpisa tayo sa degree 23 kung saan meron siyang 1, followed by degree 22, 0, degree 21, 0, and so on. Hanggang makarating tayo sa uh, degree 1 or uh, degree 0, yung ating constant na negative 5. So, medyo matrabaho ito kapag itutuloy natin. So, in this case, uh, much better na gamitin natin yung remainder theorem. So, pwede na nating evaluate yung ating uh, equation using 1 as the value of Rx. Since ang ating divisor is uh, x minus 1, so when we equate this to 0, and then, apply addition property of equality, x becomes positive 1. So, kapag nag-evaluate tayo, so papalitan lang natin yung mga x. So, in this case, we have x raised to 23 or 1 raised to 23 minus 5. 
So, 1 raised to 23, so alam na natin ang sagot dyan is 1. Minus 5. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Okay. So, ito na ngayon yung ating remainder kapag ginamitan natin ng remainder theorem yung problem. So, in this case, uh, much better na mas uh, gamitin natin yung remainder theorem instead na synthetic division. Okay. So, another theorem na included in this lesson is what we called the factor theorem. So, ano yung factor theorem? The polynomial P of X has X minus C as a factor if and only if P of C is equal to 0. So, we have two statements as a proof. So, number one, if x minus c is a factor of p of x, then p of c is equal to 0. Second uh, statement, if p of c is equal to 0, then x minus c is a factor of p of x. So, meaning to say, in factor theorem, a divisor is said to be the factor or one of the factors of the polynomial kung ang kanyang remainder ay zero. So, ganun lang kasimple yung uh, ating factor theorem. So, kailan ginagamit o kailan pwedeng i-apply? So, let's say we have this kind of problem. So, find if x minus 2 is a factor of p of x which is given as x to the fourth minus 8x cubed plus 10x squared, plus 2x, plus 4. So, in this case, aalamin natin kung si x minus 2 ba ay factor nung ating given polynomial equation. So, kanina sabi natin sa factor theorem, so masasabi natin na ang divisor ay factor kung ang remainder niya, kung ating uh, remainder ay equal sa 0. Okay, so let us evaluate using the remainder theorem. So we have x minus 2 equals 0. So our x is positive 2. So next step is to replace all the uh, excess sa ating uh, polynomial equation. Palitan natin ng positive 2. So we have 2 raised to 4 minus 8 times 2 raised to 3 plus 10 times 2 raised to 2 plus 2 times 2 plus 4. Okay. So, 2 raised to 4, we have positive 32. 2 raised to 3, the answer is uh, 8 times 8. So, we have 64. By the way, uh, 2 raised to 4, so we have 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, so this is uh, 16. Okay, proceed na tayo. So 2 raised to 2 is 4 times 10, this is 40. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4. Okay, so simplify na natin. So, katulad nung ginawa natin kanina, para mas madaling isimplify, combine natin yung mga like terms. So, we have 16 plus 40, we have 56 plus 4, we have 60 plus 4, 64, minus 64, the answer is 0. So, ang remainder natin is 0, therefore, x minus 2 is said to be a factor or one of the factors of p of x o yung ating given na uh, uh, polynomial equation. Okay. So, that's it. Another one. Uh, still, this is an application of uh, 
the factor theorem and the remainder theorem. So this time, uh, the question is what value of A for which X minus 2 is a factor of P of X equals to AX cubed minus X squared plus 22X minus 24. So in this case, ang hahanapin nating value ay yung value ng uh, numerical coefficient ng ating first term which is represented by A. So sabi sa question, x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial equation. So if we're going to analyze, uh, in this case, we have, again, uh, set up muna natin. So we have x minus 2 equals to 0. Therefore, x is equal to positive 2. So, sabi, x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. So, meaning to say, when we evaluate the uh, equation using uh, positive 2 as the value of x, it will give us a remainder of 0. Kasi nga, x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. So, we can now set up again the equation. In this case, P of 2 is 0. And then, using uh, the value of X, which is positive 2, papalitan uli natin lahat ng X dun sa ating polynomial equation. So, meron tayong A times 2 raised to 3 minus 2 raised to 2 plus 22 times 2 minus 24. Okay. So, simplify natin. 2 raised to, two, uh, two raised to 3 is 8 times A. So, we have 8A minus 4 plus 44 minus 24. Okay. Simplify muna natin. So, we have... Uh, negative 4 and negative 24. So, this is negative 28. So, we have 8a minus 28 plus 44. So, negative 28 plus 44 will give us positive 16. So, 8a plus 16. So, applying the uh, addition property of equality, we can add both sides of the equation by negative 16. So, ito ay makakancel. So, we'll have negative 16 equals to 8a. Dividing both sides by 8. So, ito cancel. So, negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. So, ito yung ating uh, magiging value ng A. So, ibig sabihin, the uh, original equation can be written as negative 2 x cubed minus x squared plus 22x minus 24 uh, isa sa factor niya ay x minus 2. Okay. So, that's it. So, I hope ay meron kayong natutunan sa lesson natin para sa araw na ito. And... Make sure to share this video to other uh, to others, especially sa ating mga kaklase para mas marami pa tayong matulungang iba. Until next time!